Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet with Bay. This is gonna be part two of my three-part series on my Justine pattern. It's really just a regular uh, bikini, but with a little bit of my personal touch. So it ties in the front rather than the back. Um, and I give two options. So you can either do the full covered base or the thong base. This video, we're gonna be focused on doing the full coverage base. So I won't tally along too much for this intro because I don't even wanna get right into it. But before I go, I need y'all to go down into that little box on the bottom and then you're gonna click the like and then you're gonna hit subscribe. And then you know that little notification bell? Yeah, that one, I want you to click it. Cause you don't wanna see the others. You don't wanna see what else I put up. I promise, okay? So you wanna click it. All right, I'm assuming you clicked it, so let's go. All right, so now we are gonna start doing the full covered bottom. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I don't think I need to do much talking. Um, if this is your first video with me um, and you didn't watch the first part of the series, um, this is the Red Heart Super Saver yarn in the color Pretty in Pink. And I'm gonna be using a 6.0 millimeter hook with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by making a slip knot. So. Um, if it is that you don't know how to make a slip knot, I suggest you go and watch the first video in this series. So it's gonna be the Justine pattern for the top. Um, I do kind of break down the stitches there, but I'm just gonna go ahead with this one. So create a slip knot and we're gonna chain six. This chain six is gonna go for every size. Um, this is for the crotch area. So I've chained six and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm gonna half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So I'm gonna yarn over. Insert. For anybody questioning why is that I kinda turn that end in to the piece, I just do that so that I crochet in the end rather than having to weave it in later. Two. I'm gonna do this all the way down, just half double crochet all the way down. So that was three, four, five, and six. Gonna just stretch it a bit. All right, so that was our six half double crochets to go along with that foundation of six chains that we did. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and we're gonna keep repeating those six half double crochets for another, I think I do eight rows. So it's eight rows, yes, it's eight rows of six half double crochets, no increase, no decrease. That's just six. So we're gonna do eight rows of that. So yarn over and I insert into that very first stitch. Um, two, gotta kind of pull the yarn. It's a little stiff, three, all right so then rather than having you here watch me 
you know, do this, you know, really slow. I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. All right, so we've done all of our eight rows of six half double crochets. Now we're going to be working the front part. So this was the crotch. And we're going to be working the front part outwards. So to get it outwards, we're going to have to do an increase. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase on both sides. And to do those increases, I'm going to be doing two half double crochets on each end and I'm going to do that for each row. So let's start. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work and I'm going to one half double crochet in that first stitch, two half double crochet in that first stitch and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next four. Two, three, four, and then two half double crochet in that last stitch. So now you'll have a total of eight half double crochets in that row. All right, let's do that again. So we're gonna chain one turn, insert, one, two in that first stitch, and pull up some more yarn, it's getting a little tight. All right, so we did two in that first stitch, we're gonna do one in the next six, two, Six and then two half double crochet in that last stitch. So as I said, it's super easy, nothing complicated. So you're just going to continue that. And you want the entire thing to measure 10 inches for a small and then for a medium 11 and for a large, I do 13. If you need any additional sizes, I do have sizes extra small to 5XL in my pattern that's available on beexclusive.com. That's B-A-E exclusive.com. Um, and I have the patterns available there. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. So I'm going to have you guys just go ahead and you're going to keep increasing. So I do my increases to get to a total of 25 rows from start to finish. So I go all the way up for 25 rows. So I'm going to go do mine and then we're going to get back and we'll work on the next part. All right, guys, we're back. So I finished my front panel. So this is the part that will cover, you know, the front <laughs> and this part covers the crotch. Now, all I did at the end was to chain one and fasten this off and just leave a long enough um, tail so that you can weave that in after. All right, so 
I'm gonna just tell you how we're gonna do the base. So for the base, all we're gonna do is repeat the same number of rows that we did here. So from start to finish. So we did a total of 25 rows for this small. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna reattach and I'm gonna do 25 rows of increase going this way. That will give you the coverage for the back. So I'm gonna start by making a slip knot. Let's get the end of the yarn. So I'm gonna go back, make my slip knot. And then I'm going to insert. And then I'm gonna put the yarn, the loop onto the hook. I'm gonna pull that through and I'm just gonna chain one and tighten that. And that is just to hold it. Now we're gonna start. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch. One. Two. And then we're gonna do four single cro half double crochets. So one. Two. That almost slipped out, guys. Catch that back. There we go. All right. We're at three. And number four. And then in that last stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets. All right, so we're gonna chain one, turn. I'm just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna do an increase on the end, increase in the beginning, increase on the end. So one, two, we have six in the middle here. So we're gonna do one, single, two, half double crochets, Three, four, five, six, and then two on this last stitch. All right, so you can already see the shape coming in for that back. So I'm going to finish up mine. I'm just going to speed this up. I know you don't want to sit here and watch me do this. And you can go ahead and finish up yours as well. All right, guys. So while you guys are doing this, I just had like a really quick question. And I'm just interested to know what you guys do when you're just, you know, constantly making like a particular part of your pieces so like for me like the entire time I was doing this I was listening to dance hall and soka specifically spice and shinsia um, they be bringing out that little girl <laughs> in me um, but I guess because I'm Jamaican that's just like my go-to but what do you guys do like are you sitting there like just in the quiet or do you listen to music too? Do you watch movies? Like, what do you do? Because there is no way I could just sit there and keep going. Because um, some pieces, like, they'll take, like, hours to just do of that repetition. And honestly, y'all, I would never survive. I would definitely fall asleep midway through the piece if I wasn't doing something so music is my go-to but let me know in the comments what do you guys do when you're doing you know repetition of a particular part of your piece or just doing a part of your piece that you know doesn't really take much thought i guess is the best way i can say it like 
you don't have to like focus on okay we're gonna do an increase okay we're gonna do a decrease or you know gotta pay attention to this and that like what do you guys do let me know in the comments below all right so we just finished the base i'm just gonna chain one on this side so i'm gonna do a chain one put a long enough piece to um weave in throw that over there right now tie it off Looking good, looking good, looking good. So now we just have the straps left. So I'm gonna put this one side and we're gonna get back our yarn. We're gonna make a slip knot. And then we're gonna chain 75. You're gonna wanna do two of these, so one for each side. Two, three. Five. 75 and I'm just gonna go ahead and chain one more pull that out and cut the end you're gonna want to go ahead and do one more chain of that 75 all right all right so you should have the entire bikini bottom piece done. Ha! Bikini bottom SpongeBob. <laughs> um, sorry, I know my name. And then the two chains of 75. And then the two chains of 75. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to insert into that last stitch. Can you see that? That last stitch. And I'm just gonna take the end of the base and I'm gonna pull it through. All right, so we're gonna do that again. Last stitch and taking it from the outside. So that last stitch in the back. I'm going to pull this through. And then for me, just to give it a nice hold, I actually go over one more time. And I go into one just below it. So you have this one. So I go right below it. So we did this one going right here. Let me make sure I got the right side. Yep. So now it just has a little cross. I just do that so it holds a little bit better. Plus it kind of helps like it not like slipping out or so too easily. All right, we're gonna do the next side. 
So I'm going to insert into that last chain, last stitch, sorry. I'm going to want a last stitch in the back. I did this side kind of awkward, I don't know why, but you're just doing the same thing that we did on the other side. All right, then to just tie off these ends and then cut them, I just make a knot. Let me go ahead and make that knot, tighten it, and cut off the extra. Right, and that is it. If you guys choose to do this pattern, I'd love to see your picture. So send them over, whatever colors you know. Do whatever feels right to you. Um, and yeah, just go ahead, like this video, leave me some comments, and subscribe. And come on, if you're a part of this base squad, you should have that notification bell clicked. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys next time when we finish part three to this series, which is going to be the thong. I'm super excited for that. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.